guys. So I created this holiday look um, thinking of something out of the box for this time of the year. A lot of people post videos or looks where they do, of course, the traditional red lip and some type of smoky eye or brown neutral eye with the red lip and some form of glitter. So I thought of doing something completely different, colors that you normally don't see um, for the holidays, but are still holiday-ish, if that makes any sense. So I went ahead and did this purple, silver, glittery, smoky contrast look, which I think is still perfect for the holidays. It'll still bounce off all of the silvers and golds that you see around this time of the year. So let's go ahead and get started. So we're going to start out with filling in our brows, and I normally already have this done, but I didn't this time. So I'm going in with cork eyeshadow and an angle brush, and I'm just going to fill in my brows with this. To clean them up a bit, I'm going in with my concealer, and this is MAC Select Concealer in NC35. And I'm just going to underscore my brow just to give it a clean edge underneath. Okay, so to get started on the eyes, I already have a little bit of concealer laid down on the eyelid, and I'm just going to use that as my primer. Um, the first thing I'm going to go in with is this Make Up Forever Aqua Eyes um, Eyeliner in 11L. And I'm going to kind of draw parentheses on both sides of the eyes to get that darker corner. So I'm going to start in this inner corner right here. If you're using the aqua eyes, you want to work with these fast because they do dry down really fast. So I'm kind of placing it where I want it. And then I'm going in with a domed eyeshadow brush and I'm just going to start to smudge this. And basically what we're going to do is we're going to put the eyeliner in the center. I mean in the inner corner and in the outer corner and we're going to create these parentheses where we leave the center empty with no eyeliner and you'll just see the shadow, I mean the pencil on the outer and inner corners, kind of like how you see out here. When you get up to the center part, you don't want it to be a harsh line. You want it to just barely be touching where it's a little bit like a slight shadow touching there. I'm also going to take that liner and run it underneath my lashes on the bottom eyelid. And then I'm also going to smudge that out as well. Okay, so once we have that liner on and smudged out to where we need it, it's time to set it with an eyeshadow. So I'm going to go in with a purple eyeshadow, this one right here. I'm taking this on a different domed eyeshadow brush and I'm basically going to be setting this entire liner. So anywhere that we place the liner, I'm placing the shadow. This will give the eyeliner a little bit of a dimension, a deeper purple color a little bit more smokiness. So once we have that set with the shadow, it's time to soften the edges of the purple. So I'm going to be going in with a medium brown eyeshadow. I put this on a MAC 217 brush and I'm basically just going to be lightly going around the edges and this is just to help soften those edges so that they blend out easier. Okay, so for a highlight under the brow, I'm going to be going in with a lighter neutral champagne color. This has a tiny bit of frost to it. And I'm placing this directly under the highest point of my brow and kind of just fanning this out. I'm not doing a lot of highlight for this look. For the center of the lid, I'm going to be going in with Urban Decay's Electric Palette, and I'm going to be taking this silver color that comes inside, and it's called Revolt. This is going to go all in the center of the eyelid. After I place that silver color, I just like to go in with the brush that has the purple eyeshadow on it, and kind of just make sure that those edges are blended nicely. So to add some fun glitter to this look, I'm going to be going in with Makeup Forever's Aqua Seal. I put it a little bit on the back of my hand, and I'm taking my fingertip, put it in there, and I'm just going to dab it on top of the silver eyeshadow. And now I'm going to be going in with Makeup Forever's Diamond Powder. 
and I'm going to be pressing this right on top so that it adheres to that aqua seal and this is going to add some fun glitter to the center of the lid. To line the waterline underneath I'm just going to be going in with a black eyeliner. This is M10 Artistic Liner from Maker Forever. And I'm going right in my waterline and then I'm also going to smudge this into the lashes a little bit underneath. I think I call this Artistic Liner. I think it's Artist Liner. Artist Liner. I'm sorry. And I'm also going to put this right on the waterline on top underneath the lashes. This will really deepen the lash line on top. Okay guys, <clears throat> nope, I'm not ready. Okay guys, so I went ahead and put on lashes on the top and bottom. You can do any lash combination that you want. I went with something that's a little bit more wispy and sparse and then I did some really natural small bottom lashes. And now I'm just gonna finish that with a little bit of Makeup Forever Smoky Extravagant Mascara. So this is the finished eye look once you have mascara and eyelashes on. So let's go ahead and get started on the lips. So I'm not exactly sure what I want to do on the lips, so I think I'm just going to wing it. Um, I'm going to go in first with cork lip liner. On top of that, I'm going to be going in with this Peachy Nude Lipstick. Then I think I want to add in some Plum Liner. I think I'm going to take Vino. And then I'm going to finish off with a Peachy Gloss. Okay guys, so this is the look once you have eyes and lips done. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know what you think of this look in the comments down below. And if it's any different from any other holiday look that you've seen. Um, I really didn't want to do anything with neutrals or a red lip. I mean, I'm just sick of seeing it. So I thought, why not purples and silvers with a nice peachy nude lip. So definitely let me know what you think. And I will see you in my next video. Thanks guys.